Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, it's been a long time. I know I said this every time I make a video in the last uh, last few times. I know I said it's been a long time, um, but um, hey, another using Emacs video. Um, I was doing a little work this morning and um, came up uh, upon something that um, that just struck me as saying, you know, I should probably do something on this. And basically, it's back to um, to org mode. And um, I've talked a little bit about org mode before. I talked about org mode way at the beginning of the series for how I use it to set up my um my init file. Um, I also talked about org mode. I, I think I've talked about it on and off on a couple of things. I've never done a deep dive into org mode because there are other videos out there that do a really good job at it. Um, I think I did use or I did a little bit of org mode on my day to day video. Um, but what I was doing today is um, we were starting to go through applications. Um, uh, part of my job at Hunter is I run the undergraduate computer science honors program, the Daedalus honors program. Um, and uh, but I'm also on the Macaulay, um, the, the committee that reviews applications for that. So, um, so basically, I'm um, reading applications and making evaluations, etc. And um, you know, and I sh actually I showed. Last year, I showed how I used the PDF tools in org mode to deal with my applications to my program. Um, but today, I was dealing with uh, Macaulay applications. So I got um, a list from the powers that be of a whole bunch of applicants. So I, I'm just faking it here because obviously I can't show you the real things. Um, and I would have an ID number and a name. Okay, I didn't really have an ID and a name. I really would have an ID number, a first name, a last name, and a bunch of other stuff. Um, and so I cut and pasted actually what it looked like. Like, is it looked like this name one name two name etc and I did org convert um, region or table convert region and that converted into an org table and this is an org mode file and an org table for people who aren't familiar with it is if you just make something you know like this and then you hit tab then you're going to, excuse me, let me just not answer that now. Um, uh, if you just hit tab on that, it just creates it into a table, and then you can type stuff in. You know, I type an extra key there, etc. cetera, um, and that's that. So that's pretty much it. That, that gets you the org table. And a nice thing about it is you can do things like, um, you know, do that and get a little separator there. And you can also do things like, switch the columns or you can you know move things up and down like that so it gives you these nice pieces of manipulation and so what I did is I grabbed this um, my uh, my list of IDs and names and stuff and I converted it into a table um, and the other thing I want to point out is I could have done this in a spreadsheet but since I live in Emacs. Um, the spreadsheet is just another extra step, another file to remember. Um, and it also has some other disadvantages. So anyway, I know that in my application, I also needed, um, I needed to evaluate a few things. So I had the SA1, the SA2. I then had to come up with the average of the essays. Then, you know, a score for the recommendations, um, you know, a score for, you know, something else. And whatever, you know, so I had a bunch of scores that I had to do, and then I had to have, not the total, the total. Um, and every time I hit tab, it just kind of does that. Another nice thing I can do here, if I get this correctly, is if I say something like this, um, I can actually make something more abbreviated. I can shorten this, or big in, in, big in it, etc. And what I actually did here is I actually put some notes in here, like, oh, the essay should be evaluated one through five, and the recommendations one through three, and something else one through five. This is just notes for me. Um, and so one of the things that I like about doing this in org mode tables, and I can still do my moving things around and stuff, is it lets me, you know, like, I'm like, oh, these are, I have this long list of names, and I have nine of them, but it could be a lot longer, and it was a lot longer. So let me put a separator in here, you know, on every three. Um, and that's, that's nice. I could also export this. I showed you exporting in another video, but um, I'm not going to do this here. Um, but if I were doing this in a spreadsheet, I would have to do, like, move the mouse, do an insert above, insert below, things of that nature. Uh, again, the movement 
of, of columns and rows here to me is much easier with the keyboard and this idea that I can easily, just very easily um, move things, uh, you know, add these separator lines. You can also, you know, like back to here, uh, what is it? Uh, Um, I could use the rectangle tools to copy and paste rectangular items if I want to pull stuff out of this. You know, so all the Emacs power comes in. Um, so let's say I'm evaluating these people and I'm like, you know, uh, Tommy had a, okay, a good essay on the first one. The second one was okay. Um, you know, Sarah had a great first essay and the second one was a little above the three, let's say. Um, you know, both of them had average recommendations and et cetera. Um, but one of the nice things is, you know, now I've got to do the averages and stuff. And this one's easy. You know, I got four. Whoa. Um, but here, well, how am I going to figure that one out? Um, you know, that's, um, I got to do like math with decimals and that's hard. So that's where the formulas come in and that's a nice thing here. So if I go control C equals, um, it starts out with, that's a column formula. Um, I could actually just make it, uh, actually, what is it? Control C, control F, I forget. Well, that's a column formula, I mean, that's fine. There's another keystroke for just a cell formula and I can put in a formula here that I want, let's say, the V mean from three to four. And that's 3.5. And notice here I've got, I can hit that and it gives me the entire column. So what I did there is I typed in the formula here and I could have just typed it in over here. I could have just typed in, you know, um, table fm and then you know uh, i think i think it's at four at, at let me try this this might not be right and let me get rid of at least go. So notice I have at $2.05 means, you know, if I do this, it gives me the, um, the row and column. And so I didn't really want to put this up here. But if I could put in here, I could put in row columns instead. I couldn't do row columns with the dot dot. That wouldn't make sense because that could be disjoint. But I could specifically say this cell becomes this, in which case it's only filling in that cell. But if I say I want the entire column, I can get the entire column and these haven't been calculated yet. So let's say I want another column for this guy over here. Um, so I can say here, put a colon colon to separate this. I think that's the syntax. I have this off off monitor here, so sorry about that. Um, but I could also say this is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight is going to be equal to the V sum of, and that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So dollar five to dollar seven. And then, bang, it fills those in. And as I start to fill these in, two, three, five, two, and I can come down here and I do control C, control C, bang, it fills it all out. Um, and I could just keep going with that forever. So that's really, really nice. That's a really, that's a, that's a pretty cool feature there. So why don't we add another column, uh, let's say, another example, just, you know, free EX, and let's make another formula to show something else. And I don't really know a whole bunch about this. So why don't we say dollar sign, that's eight, nine equals, well, where does this V mean and this V sum come from? Well, V mean and V sum are calc um, from the org, not org, Emacs calc mode um, functions, they're vector functions, vector mean, vector sum. Um, and, you know, they're kind of hard. The manual is there, but it's hard to find it. Um, so you might just want to work with Elisp here, and you can do that by starting with a quote. 
So you could do something like, uh, let's say, plus um, dollar sign one, two, three, four, five, and dollar sign eight. Yeah, I want to add those two columns together. And that gives me an error, so I got a problem here. Um, so why does that work? Do I have to quote these? I may have to quote these. No, that's... Oh, right, right, right. Um, if I do this, I have to tell it the format. And so that's... Um, put a semicolon there and end for numeric. And there we go. The 8.5 plus the 3.5, uh, the 9.5 plus the 2.5, etc. And of course, if we add things to here, and notice I can tab and go tab backwards. Well, I hit uh, semicolon, semicolon, uh, control C, control C doesn't do anything there. But on this line, control C, control C does these. And if I want to recalculate this one, I just go to that line, control C, control C, and that one sets up. You know, there you have it. Um, so that's pretty much it. Now, um, I believe there's a lot more to this, but I'm just a neophyte here. I've kind of shied away from the formulas before because, I, you know, it's kind of intimidating. Um, but there are some good resources online. So um, I found this, which has a nice uh, tutorial on the basics. Um, so it actually talks about, um, you know, uh, what is it? Control C, Control C. Okay, whatever. Um, so you can just read this through, and it shows. Notice here, like the V mean with the range, like we did. Um, and here, notice at two dollar sign four, that being a specific cell, but then just making it dollar sign four for that. Um, and then the other thing is, if you look here in the org manual, um, you can go to. This is all the table stuff, but you can click down on the spreadsheet, and it talks about you know, using uh, the calc style formulas, using the Lisp style formulas, column formulas, all this stuff in here. Uh, so there's a lot of good stuff in here. Um, you know, the nice thing is I could now easily move this into a spreadsheet or something if I want. I could export this. I could do what I want with it. Um, so, you know, I will say that the formula stuff is not quite as slick as using a legit spreadsheet, um, but the overall advantages of, the, um, of having it in Emacs with the org mode goodness and the Emacs goodness makes it pretty terrific. Um, so when you've got some tabular data and you just have to do some configuration stuff or some calculation stuff, don't be afraid to check it out. Um, it certainly has made my life easier this morning going through applications and for the next couple of days going through applications. Um, so that's it. So thanks and I hope you enjoy this.